Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at how to create an engagement letter in Xero. Okay, first thing we wanna do is make sure we've got some report fields set up. So just over here. So I've got quite a few different report fields set up here. I've got Australian company number, uh, bank, bank manager, chairman, directors, entity type, lender, etc., meeting address, partner, you name it. Now, you can create whatever report fields you like. Um, you've got two types. First one we'll look at is just practice field. This is more for, um, for example, the firm, the accounting practice detail, um, you know, like the signing partner, or you can have um, the practice address. Um, and what, how it works is you can insert these fields in any type of report that's text-based. An example of a text-based report is the, say, director's declaration or director's report or trustee declaration, trust minutes, um, member minutes, compilation report. So all those types of reports are, are text, it's just wording. All right, so let me just get out of that. So you'll see my list of client fields and practice fields here. So if you wanna add a client field, come in here, give it a name and a description. And let's get out of that. Now, if I'll just duplicate the tab. If we go down to client level, so once you've set up those fields, you come down to client level, down here under report fields and schedules, you can see here you actually add the information. For example, the bank, there's two different banks here, and you know, I could add Westpac or Combank. If I click on the Australian company number, that's where I add it there. Okay, so just to recap, you set the fields up at practice level, you insert those fields into reports, which we're about to do next, and then when you run that report for a client, you need to come here and make sure you fill it out. Okay, let's go back up to practice level. So we've got our report fields. And what I'm gonna do is go back to the home page for reports and let's create a new template. So here, new template. We're gonna do an engagement letter. Engagement, engagement, done. Okay, so one of the beautiful things about Xero's report templates is they're very, very flexible and you can do whatever you want. And one of the crap things about Xero's report templates is they're very, very flexible and you can do whatever you want. So whatever you do, treat carefully. Gonna add a report. And we'll go to blank report. So this is a blank canvas. This is the name of the report. Spell it properly. Um, I can preview it for a client. Grab the trust. So this is the trust with the corporate beneficiary and 10, uh, cor corporate trustee and 10 beneficiaries. Okay, so what I want to do is go to edit layout. And just focus here. T is for text. We're going to insert what's called a text block text block. Over here, no, I don't want it numbered and I don't want a standard heading. I just want to, I want no heading. And done. Okay, so now we've got, if I click in there, now we've got a place to either type text or copy and paste it. In this case, we're going to copy and paste because who wants to retype stuff? We ain't got time for that stuff. All right, so I've got a docx file, a, an engagement letter template from my practice, and I want to run that in zero. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, so now you can see um, the basic structure of the engagement letter. Um, scope of services, etc. Uh, lodgement dates, blah, 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 the whole lot. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight that. Drag. Control C, go to zero, and in here, Control V. Okay, so it's a good start. Say draft. All right, so I've now got the structure of um, the engagement letter here. Now, what I want to do is replace things with fields. For example, the first thing was a date. So if I've got the date, and you can see 14th of February. Now, I'll just get rid of that. So 14th of February, now we've got a few different dates. I'll show you the different ones you can insert. So you can either go that, report end date, or Like this, and I'll show you the difference when you run it at client level. Okay, we'll get rid of that. All right, done. Address E. Okay, now you could put dear just to make it a bit more, or depending on what fields you set up, you come in here and go dear. owner or recipient one, depending on what fields you set up. Okay. And here you can put the firm details or the client details, whatever. Let me just move on from there. Okay. Now here, all right, there's a few typos, we'll just fix those up. You can see the main thing is inserting the right fields. Okay, so, so you, can, you can see it says here, we refer to, the, to your request for us to provide accounting and taxation services to blah, blah, blah. So here, you would delete that and insert the relevant field, which will be the legal trading name. There's a few spaces there. Um, here, you know, we just got to replace that. Oop. And here you'd put, um, say, info at countryaccounts.com, for example. Um, you know, basically you're replacing this with the relevant information. You can type your name or you can put a practice or the, I've got to put the, I can type my name there or if I had a field for me as the signing partner, which I started to do. So I could have practice partner in there. Uh, website address, etc. So you can see you start to replace things with the relevant fields. The main thing is, um, that you got to use fields, okay? Because it's going to save you time. Right, that's that's what you want from this. Just go down a little bit. Just delete, delete. You know, I can do things. I can tidy it up. So the main thing is you end up copying and pasting and doing a bit of editing, as you can see, with all the different spelling, because that comes over from Word, and sometimes it just jams it together. So all you're doing is really going through here and inserting fields where they relate to a customer. Just to recap, we've created report fields at practice level. Second part is to enter the information at client level. So let's go down and we'll run it for this trust. Okay, so under general settings we've got now report fields and in here you can see I've got all the information I need. Now some other fields that will come into the report are under organisation settings. Like for example some of these fields like legal training name, um, Australian business number, and the addresses, they can be also inserted into the reports. All right, let's run the report. Advisor, advanced line accounting, and engagement letter. Okay, so it's a one 
page report. All right, now remember I created the three date fields for you to look at and say, well, which one do I want? All right, so basically um, you can choose whichever one you want, insert it as your default, maybe today's date is the one you want. So I'll just get rid of those, delete, delete. Okay, that's pre-filling through. So if I duplicate this tab and go to the fields, you'll see that Steve Jobs is, you'll see that Steve Jobs is recipient one. So his name has filled through. Okay, main thing is we're now ready to publish and get it out to the customer. Okay, so you can choose to include a cover page. I don't really need a contents page, so I'll get rid of that. But I might like put, you know, just to make it a bit more personalized, just call it the greatest trust. Um, do, I can do my firm or my name, whichever one suits. And also my logo is added at practice level along with my brand color. Okay, so let's look at the end result. Okay, now we've got our published reports. Let's go up to this one and just download it as, it opens as a PDF. So you can see fully branded with our brand colors, engagement letter. Um, that will fill through, you can't get rid of that. That's just the way it goes. Um, we could have got, we could have excluded the cover page when we published. If you don't like that, you could have excluded the cover page and you would have just got this. Okay, unfortunately you can't get rid of that. Okay, you could have put a custom date, 24th of April. Okay, but if you look down the page, everything's there, everything's filled through, all very tidy. All the information's there filled through and you've got the signatory panels and all your information. Okay, so just to summarize, it's another option for, for doing your engagement letters. Some practices I deal with, they do their engagement letters in Microsoft Word, which is fine if it works that way, but if you want it streamlined and you want your engagement letters to look like your financial statements, then use Xero. Use Xero report templates. Thank you, um, I'll catch you later.